Nibble, 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 nibble. Come on, dinky boys, take the bait. I got, I got, oh, it's a good one. Oh. It's a good one. Nice. It's a really good opalai. Very nice. Was not expecting this boy. Super chunky. Ooh, Pure Life's got something. What is it? Oh. Nice. Another decent oh. opalai. Heck yeah. Oh, Where are all these big boys coming? Nice open I think I'm getting some nibbles. Waves are really strong over here, but let's go ahead and check to see if there's anything. Oh, feels kind of heavy. Yeah, looks like it's something. Nice, it's a dinky sea pancake. Nice, look at this guy. Technically the second fish of the day. Was fishing earlier before the sun came up. Couldn't see anything. But yeah, thanks for playing Mr. Dinky Sea Pancake. Let's wait for the wave. All right, that should be good. Nice Bard Surf Perch for Pure Life. It's popping right now. Looks like a sea pancake. Nice, a leopard shark. A lemon? Let me see. All right, fish for JLHA fishing. A lemon shark. It's a shark for sure. I got a bite, I got a bite. Fish on, it's popping. It's a good one. I think it's a shark too. This for sure is a leopard shark. Let's freaking go. All three of us caught a fish within five minutes. Look at that, a pretty cool leopard shark. So they're called leopard sharks because they have these patterns that look like a leopard, I guess. Really nice fight for these guys, even if they're super dinky. Sharks are basically pure muscle. Thought I had a much bigger fish. I'll take a shark, always a good fight. All right, let's wait for the wave. Thanks for playing, Mr. Sharky boy. What's up anglers and anglets, it's your boy Sven and welcome back to my channel. I'm out here with PLF Hello. and JLHA fishing and we're doing some jetty fishing-ish over here at Oceanside. I guess this is technically more surf fishing. We've been out here for a couple hours before the sun came up. Now that the sun's up, I can actually see what I'm doing. So good time to film. JLHA might have something, look like a good tackle. A yeah, it's a bad ray. Ooh, Ooh, that guy's chonky. Look at that. A pretty cool bat ray. Also a skate, probably. Wow. Nice, that's a really good Bart surf perch. Nice one, Eric. He's been catching rays and sea pancakes the entire time. It's a beautiful day, nice and cloudy. Absolutely no wind right now. The waves are super aggressive though. I got a three ounce claw on, still getting dragged around all the way to the right. Eric caught that huge bar surf perch on some ghost shrimp, so I got some ghost shrimp on for right now too. But yeah, enough duping around. Let's get back to fishing and see what else we can catch. Pure Life's probably got something. Well, there's plenty of those guys right now. But before we get started, as usual, we gotta talk a little bit about safety. The waves are super spooky right now. A lot of these rocks are also super wet from all the wave splashing. So be careful making your way down if you really need to get something. Watch out for that. You never know when an extra big wave's gonna come in and splash you. If you do need to get down there to wash your hands or get water for your bucket, I would honestly recommend bringing like a rope and tie it to your bucket because it doesn't look like there's any kind of safe place to go down. When the waves are super aggressive, try to stay up as high as you can. It's just safer that way. Eric on another fish. And he's back to raise. The fish right there. There we go, that's a good fish. Let's see what you are. Nice, 
a yellowfin croaker on the ghost shrimp. Nice, look at the sky. An okay sized yellowfin. They do get a lot bigger. Yellowfin croakers are a very common catch over here at the SoCal Surf. Like this guy's good enough to eat, but I'm gonna let this one go. Thanks for playing, Mr. Yellowfin. And looks like Pure Life's caught a barred surf perch. We're catching fish left and right. Let's freaking go. I'm also gonna take this time to formally apologize if I start making no sense as time goes on. I am running on no sleep right now. It's way too excited to even try to fall asleep because it's been a good chunk of time since I actually got to go fishing and Pure Life's actually in the area again. So yeah, that's what's happening right now. Or who knows, maybe it'll be a little fun to watch me descend into madness. Another one for Pure Life maybe. What is it? You're not stuck. You're stuck on the other line that's stuck down there. Should I go down again? Like right there. Nice yellow I don't know if that's a good idea to go down and get it. You don't have waders. Sure. Well, safety is more important. So I say just try to break that other line and hopefully you don't break that one off. Well, his other yellow fin broke off, but looks like he caught another one. It's a replacement yellowfin. A very a nice one. Yellowfin. My line went super loose. Maybe I got a fish. Yeah, I got one. I got one. Oh, nice, nice. It's a good one. Well, they've all been really good ones. Cool. Let's see what you are. Yellowfin. Nice. A really good yellowfin. Let's freaking go. That's a eater size for sure. A hundred percent. Go shrimp. I just saw right now. Let's go. Now that's a really nice yellowfin croaker. This one's definitely worth keeping. Beautiful fish. His fins are not super yellow though. Not so yellowfin croaker. Man, ghost shrimp is killing it right now. Very good bait if you can ever get your hands on it. It is a little pricey at the tackle shop. You can pump for it yourself, but the only hard part is finding where they are. Otherwise, pretty good bait. Drawback is that they're super flimsy. If you're gonna use ghost shrimp as bait, I highly recommend using the bait thread. One strong nibble and that thing's gonna fall off right the way the bites over here are also super interesting the best indicator for if we have a fish is literally if the line gets super slack for no reason this is a really nice one. another yellowfin croaker for pure life Go shipping it.
And there you have it, some yellowfin ceviche. Now, traditionally as well, you would eat it with tostadas, maybe a little layer of mayo, toss it on top. I don't got any of that right now. I'm just gonna go straight into it and see what it's like. Here we go. That's so fresh. Definitely would be a lot better, but even if you don't use tostadas, tortilla chips, something of that nice crunchy texture to balance out the softness of the fish, perfect. You can also add more salt to your taste if you need to. Always go a little bit at a time. Can't take out extra salt, but you can always add more if you need it. Oh, it's so good. I'll take another bite. Most people don't add the cucumber. It's a very nice, fresh element that you can add to it. Plus, cucumbers are awesome. If I was to rate this dish, I'd give it a nine out of 10. Very simple to make, a very easy catch and cook if you wanted to try it. You can cook it in the lemon juice or you can cook it on a stove top like this. What's this? More fishing? You guys thought it was over after the catch and cook, didn't you? We are rejuvenated, kinda. Video's not over yet, unless I don't catch a fish, which is also a huge possibility. You know what? We're just fishing for fun at this point, so let me put on some smaller hooks. Now we got super dinky hook with super dinky shrimp for super dinky fish. Let's see if we can catch one. Why do I keep forgetting the bail? There's a nibble. Come on, dinky boy. Some good nibbles. Man, they must be really small if they can't take a size 12 easily. Oh, I got one. I got one. What the heck are you? Look at that. I don't think I've ever caught one before. But for some reason, my head wants to say it's a bronzy or like a bronze surf perch. Super dinky. Beautiful patterns though. Kind of coppery. All right, let's get you off. Thanks for playing, mystery fish. All right, let's see if we can catch another one. Oh, it's a nice opal eye. Nice. That's a good opal eye. Yeah. On a size 12? On a size 12. Very nice. That's a big boy. Tell me how good. Been fishing since like 4 a.m. and it's like almost 2 right now. Super tired. Quick safety tip, if you're gonna go fishing or do anything for an extended period of time, definitely get the proper amount of rest. I know I stayed up because I just couldn't sleep, but try your best to get some form of rest. This is rough. I'm not gonna lie, it's super rough. Super fun though. I'm having a blast, but very rough. Take care of yourself, drink water, eat your vegetables, and can't fish if you're too weak to even try to get out here. Let's try to catch one more. They're all over these rocks, the big ones and the small ones. You never know what you'll catch, and you can catch a pretty decent sized fish with a size 12. Nibble, 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 nibble. Come on, dinky boys, take the bait. I got, I got, oh, it's a good one. Oh. It's a good one. Nice. It's a really good opal eye. Very nice. Was not expecting this boy. Super chunky. Ooh, Pure Life's got something. What is it? Oh. Nice. Another decent opal eye. Heck yeah. Where are all these big boys coming? That's a nice opal eye. Woo. The chunky boys are coming out to play. Come on, big opal eye. Or small opal eye. Or any fish. Either or. Spooky waves. Nibble, 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 nibble. Take the bait, take the bait. You know you want that shrimpy goodness. Squirrels attacking pure life's food. Well, at least it wasn't my cooler. What are you stuck on? Okay, I'm calling it. 